We have learned that there have been times that the PGO not only did not support investigations into corruption, but rather undermined prosecutors working on legitimate prosecution cases. For example, in the case of former ecology minister Mikola Zolchevsky, UK authorities seized $23 million in illicit assets that belonged to the Ukrainian people. Officials at the PGO's office were asked by the UK to send documents supporting the seizure. Instead, they sent letters to Zolchevsky's attorneys attesting that there was no case against him. And as a result, the money was freed by the UK court, and shortly thereafter, $23 million of the Ukrainian people's money moved to accounts in Cyprus. The misconduct by the PGO officials who wrote those letters should be investigated, and those responsible for subverting these cases by authorizing those letters should, at a minimum, be immediately terminated. Of course, it is critical that these reforms be undertaken in an open and transparent manner, consistent with the procuracy reform law, international standards, and in coordination with national and international stakeholders. Do you think we can expect uh, the UMF support soon if our problems with political crisis are almost uh, solved? Yeah. So I, of course, can't speak for the IMF, um, but you heard you know, very clear message from the United States. What we will be looking for is practical progress in implementing reforms, uh, compliance with the conditions that have already been negotiated with the IMF. This government doesn't have to negotiate a new agreement. There's an agreement which was negotiated in the spring of last Last year, um, so it's just a matter of carrying that forward from early 2015, and we hope that that will happen. And then for the United States, we've also been very focused on this question of the Prosecutor General, um, which, as you know, um, is still outstanding, and we hope very much that that's an issue that the President, that the Rada, will be able to turn to uh, relatively soon. Great. But in addition, you also have a battle, a historic battle against corruption. And it's not enough to set up a new anti-corruption bureau and establish a special prosecutor fighting corruption. The office of the general prosecutor desperately needs reform. The judiciary should be overhauled. The energy sector needs to be competitive, ruled by market principles, not sweetheart deals. Corruption siphons away resources and the people. It blunts the economic growth, and it affronts the human dignity. The United States is with you in this fight. We understand we're with you afar. It's much harder for you than it is for us. We've stepped up with official assistance to help backstop the Ukrainian economy. We've rallied the international community to commit a total of $25 billion in bilateral and multilateral financing to support Ukraine. It includes $2 billion in U.S. loan guarantees and the possibility of more. That is, I'm desperately concerned about the backsliding on the part of uh, uh, Kyiv in terms of corruption. They made, I mean, I'll, I'll give you one concrete example. I, I, I was, not I, I, but it just happened to be that was the assignment I got. I, I, I got all the good ones. Uh, and uh, so I got Ukraine. And uh, um, I remember going over convincing our team, our brothers, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev. And, uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had. They were walking out to press conference. Said, "No, nah. I said I'm not going to. We're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said call him." <laughs> I said, "I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars." I said, "You're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here." And I think it was what six hours. I looked. I said, "I'm leaving in six hours." <laughs> If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid at the time.